Welcome to today's lesson called Unsquaring Numbers. Here are some vocabulary terms that you will need to know and understand for today's lesson. Unsquaring a number. Unsquaring a number means undoing the operation that was done to find the answer. This means doing the opposite of that operation. To square a number, you multiply a number by itself. To unsquare a number, you divide the product by the square number to find its root. For example, 5 squared equals 25. To unsquare 25, we divide 25 by 5 and we come up with the answer 5. The mathematical term for unsquaring a number is finding the square root. This is a number that multiplied by itself, or n, which is commonly written as square root of n. For example, 4 is a square root of 16 because 4 times 4 equals 16. Normally, square root refers to the positive square root, but the opposite of a positive square root is also a square root. For example, negative 4 is also a square root of 16 because negative 4 times negative 4 equals 16. Now let's talk about unsquaring numbers. We need to undo the operation that squared the number. If you square a number, you multiplied it by itself to get the product. Given the product of a squared number, you have to undo the multiplication in order to identify the number that was squared. Let's practice using the number 289. Here is what you need to ask yourself. What number multiplied by itself is equal to 289? This is a square number, so I promise you there is an answer. You can randomly start guessing numbers and multiplying them by themselves in order to come up with this answer. I would suggest using the squeeze method. Here's how it works. Start out by multiplying 10 times 10. This equals 100. That is too small, so you know that your square number is going to be bigger than 10. Next, I'm going to go up 10 more and multiply 20 times 20. 20 times 20 equals 400. This is too big, so I know that my square root is going to be smaller than 20. I am going to keep trying numbers between 10 and 20 until I land on the right one. My number will probably be closer to 20 than 10 because 289 is closer to 400 than 100. Next, I am going to try 18 times 18. 18 times 18 is 324. This is still too big, but it's definitely closer to 289 so I'm going to try one number lower. 17 times 17 is equal to 289. I have found the answer I was looking for. The square root or unsquare of 289 is 17. 17 times 17 or 17 squared equals 289. Here's a hint. If I multiply the 1's place in both of these numbers, in this case 7's, by, them, by each other, I get 49. This is a number that ends in the same number as the number I'm looking for. This is how I know that I probably have the right number, but I have to continue through and do the math to figure it out all the way. This hint may help you when finding the square root or unsquaring numbers in the future. Follow along with me as I show you one more example of the squeeze method. This time I am going to find the square root of the number 441. I'm going to start out with 20 times 20 because in the last problem I remember that 20 times 20 is 400. So I know I'm going to get pretty close to a good guess from there. Then I'm going to go up to 30 times 30. 30 times 30 is 900, which is way too big, so I know that my answer is going to be closer to 20 than it is to 30 because the number I'm looking for is only 441. What should my next guess be? 
in this case, I'm going to try 21 times 21 because looking at the last digit of each of these numbers, I know that 1 times 1 is equal to 1, which is the last digit of the number I'm looking for. This is a pretty good guess and might get me closer to my answer. 21 times 21 is, in fact, 441. So the square root of 441 is 21. Notice that I used an exponent of 2 to show that I am multiplying 21 by itself two times. Are you ready to try it on your own? Here is your practice problem for the day. Find the square root of 196. Try using the squeeze method or just randomly guessing. Whichever one you would like to do is fine with me. Good luck.